In 1953, a doctoral student named Stanley Miller conducted a series of experiments to reproduce in his lab the same conditions that had probably existed on primeval Earth. Water, but no oxygen in the air. An atmosphere teeming with a mix of gases. Sulfur and methane, hydrogen and ammonia. Miller started by filling an enclosed container with water. Then he added the mix of gases. To replicate the effect of the sun, he heated the mixture with a Bunsen burner. To simulate lightning bolts, he jolted the concoction with bursts of electricity. He waited several days before analyzing the liquid in the container. The results were astonishing. The liquid contained organic compounds, essential building blocks for creating proteins, which play a vital role in the biochemical spark that starts life. So what did Stanley Miller discover? While he didn't create life in the lab, he created the potential for life, and that's significant. It meant with the right raw materials and the right conditions, life could happen anywhere. However, there's no shortage of theories. Some scientists have even speculated that the life-building proteins that Stanley Miller created in his lab could have arrived aboard a comet or asteroid from deep space, seeding the Earth. 